Welcome back to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about Gamer. Haven't done this one in a while. Thought I would just get some updates for you guys. See how the project's doing. See where the price is at. So let's get into it. But before we start, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And share it with your friends. Now, we have Gamer. Uh, the price of Gamer is at... 1.11 or 1.199 cents it's up 0.36 percent for the day guys the entire market went down that is why this project went down <clears throat> um over the last couple um months it did have you know we reached to the three cent level in the three months and then uh year to date we got as high as eight cents so it went high as eight cents, guys. Came down and um, reached about the one point two cent level right now. Uh, if you guys want to grab Gamer, you guys can grab it off Pancake Swap, Ape Swap, or Bitmart. Um, that is where you can get it from. And um, I mean, to be honest, the gaming the gaming aspect is very very big. The crypto aspect is in a bear market right now, but I think we are kind of trending towards a sideways market uh, we may have one more leg down if that's the case i do see gamer going below that one cent level um before coming back up the cool thing about gamer is multiple times i've seen it at a price and it like between like two and five x's just like out of nowhere so i mean i definitely know that the money's there i definitely just think when it comes to the actual project that it is um a bear market that's it. That's all I can say. It's a bear market. So um, let's take a look at the Twitter. 87,000 followers. So October 18th, um, Battle Leap will be the first true game to hit the blockchain this year. The skill-based NFT game now has controller support. Beta coming soon. So guys, look at this. This is pretty legit. So you have the Battle Leap going, and uh, you can fight other leaps. And now you can use what it looks like uh, is an Xbox controller. You guys can play the game and uh, get the other elites to battle the the elites for you. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, you know, I know a lot of people. That's one big thing that uh, I've heard a lot of complaints about is like the keyboard on the computer is just too difficult. So now they've added controller support, which is amazing. Um, Battle Elite, the game will be gamepad compatible as well. So, guys, that is pretty legit. Weekly NFT Hub update. The latest stats from Gamer Center NFT Hub has landed. 99,358 gamers spent. 49,67 gamer in rewards. 993 gamer burned. So, they are burning... The gamers NFT sold 15 gamer spent gamer uh, to mentors for them from the NFLs and gamer to be burnt. So that is the weekly marketplace stat update. The gamer zone is back in one hour. So guys, so that was from an hour ago. This is from yesterday, um, bringing you everything from around the GameFi blockchain and gaming space. Tune in here. So guys. You guys want to tune in? They have YouTube week um, updates from there with Frank. So you know, shout out to him for continuing to do that. Good morning, gamers. Have you had your daily dose of gamer socials? So guys, this is pretty sweet because um, this is like a social for gamers. Rolling in and reporting for battle. Introducing your new. Favorite game fight character. Say hello to Battle Elite. So guys, look at that. It kind of looks like Johnny Five is alive. Many of you, uh, let's see who gets that reference. <laughs> um, all right. To access Battle Elite Beta, you will need to assign the wallet addre address holding your Battle Pass NFT and generate a game token to log in. So guys, this is Web 3.0 at its finest. You're able to use the NFT to log in into the game, which is pretty legit. So congratulations to Gamer IDN or Gamer underscore IDN. Um, they won the uh, 
the prize for chance one BNB, which tank fills first. So, guys, the um, let's see if we have anything else that's weekly updates. We already have the latest one. Um, somebody already won that. So, here are some more previews of the game. So, pretty sweet stuff. So, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the actual website. So, if you go to the website, it uh, has many different things that you could see. You can see the gamer chart. You can see the audit. You can see Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. So, guys, pretty sweet stuff there. Um, so, like I said, guys, I know sometimes it is pretty... Uh, I call it discouraging when you see the price, <clears throat> especially when it goes from, um, let's see, the all time high of 22 cents all the way down <clears throat> to, you know, 1.1 cents. But you have to think 99% or not, I think it's like more than 95% of projects lose 95% of their value. There is a reason why it's called the bear market. You cannot hold these um projects kind of like you can't hold it too harshly because i mean as we can see they're updating their socials they're having the updates um they're they're making the game it really can't be um you know can't be too harsh on them just think if you get this at 1.1 cents now and it goes back to 20 cents that's almost a 20x. You put $1,000, that would be $20,000 in the bull market. Not financial advice, just kind of my opinion. So have to kind of take <clears throat> these different projects and take, um, take these things and make sure that you are looking at the project, looking at the team behind it, looking at what they're doing, and just realize it's a bear market. So anyway, guys. That is the updates for Gamer. Haven't done in a while, like I said. Uh, you know, didn't uh, I know some people are like, how come you're not doing any other project besides TCG? And um, my response was, well, TCG has so many updates, it just kind of uh, keeps me going. But then I looked at the Gamer Twitter, I'm like, wait, they are doing updates, and they're legit updates, and... I forgot how legit this project was, so let me go ahead and do more updates. So I'm gonna try to do, um, you know, uh, I went down from like four videos a day to two videos a day to one video a day, and I think we're done with the bear market. Almost, we might have one more leg down. So I might start doing gamer maybe once a week or once every other week. I gotta see, but I do want to start covering gamer again. So. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and until next time.